my hopes for the future are that we can figure out how to balance the health of the soil with the economic structures around us to benefit the farmers and keep everybody farming. My name is Rory Beyer. I am an organic dairy farmer by uh, El Durham, Minnesota. We raise corn, soybeans, cover crops right now. Right about 2008, we did a soil test and we found that organic matter across our entire farm, including the rented land, was about 1.7%. And so there was not a lot of tilth there in the soil left anymore after farming it hard the first you know, 25, 30 years of, of our farm. We decided at that point, putting in the cover crops and grazing the cattle would, would hopefully make a difference in that, that percentage of, of organic matter. And on the, on the cropping land, only on the rented land where we didn't haul manure and it went up as high as 3.1 3 to 3.4% by the time we hit 2019, just on the land that hadn't had any manure put back onto it. And we were using practice of, of cover crops without grazing. And on the land where we had added manure, but we didn't graze, we saw it go from 1.7% to 4%, or a little above 4%. And finally, on land where it was grazed as well, it went from 1.7 up to 6%. So having the animals on the soil and grazing the land in addition to using cover crops and manure, we saw the biggest return and the fastest, quickest turnaround where the cattle were integrated. Benefits that I've seen on my farm are very, very, very high level of water infiltration. Uh, compared to my neighbors, I believe it was 2015 already, we had some a wet spring and I had some winter mm -hmm. eye in my soil that I had planted to fall earlier, but it didn't start growing till the spring. And I saw as that began to grow, there must have been so much more root structure below the soil, even when it was about an inch tall. We had a three inch rain event in like 25 minutes or something. It was crazy. And my neighbor's corn stalks all washed right down into my uh, pastures. And right above it, we had ground that just had one inch of winter rye in it and it stayed there. It stayed there through that heavy rain event. So I'm sure some of it ran off, but at least the ground and the structure of the soil was strong enough to hold, you know, in that kind of an event. And so I've seen the resiliency of the soil increase with the organic matter content. It's kind of a one-to-one -one correlation. In terms of the health of our crops, I think our crops are getting healthier. Um, I think it, it has something to do with how you manage your inputs as well. I mean, I'm not seeing as much of a requirement for inputs. And we noticed that when we did our soil testing in 2019 here is that the agronomist said to us, basically, you've got beautiful soil and you don't need to add a bunch of things to your soil. And so that's kind of a pat on the back for an investment, you know, for the last five, seven, nine years. There's a lot of talk that it can be done without animals, and I don't think that is a feasible option. And so from the standpoint of where I sit, I think the cattle need to be integrated for it to work. And I think Gabe Brown has, has pretty much showed everybody that that's the case, you know, with his beef cows and his cover crops.